At least six school children tested positive for the Ebola virus in Uganda's capital, with one of them succumbing to the disease whose cases have been on the rise in the country. The children are from three different schools which have been placed under lockdown. The health ministry has said the cases were contacts of a victim who died from the disease. It is true that we have one case. Unfortunately, as I speak right now, uh, this child passed on yesterday evening. Unfortunate. Of course, but of course, before the child passed on, uh, the KCCA medical team was here to ensure that they put in place what the Minister of Health requested for, to ensure that we can curb the spread of the Ebola. The outbreak has sent fear among the communities surrounding the schools. The heads of the schools say they have had to deal with increasing levels of stigma since the positive cases were identified. We are becoming a nuisance to the community. People are fearing coming closer to us. When they see you, they run away. They think you have Ebola. So the ministry should, uh, together with the government, do a lot to sensitize the public. The health ministry has blamed the escalation of the virus on Ugandans who are shying away from hospitals. This shopkeeper says she's had to reduce contact with the school children for fear of catching the virus. I stopped selling those eats uh, and whoever, whoever is coming to buy something, I, I be far away from that person. The Ugandan government declared an Ebola outbreak in the central district of Mobende on September 20th after a 24-year-old man tested positive.